I do know Saturday we have been in contact with ju yeah, Justice for Nevea. It is a search party that did do searches for baby Nevea when she was missing. They have come volunteered to come down here with us, set up organized searches. We did one this afternoon. We started at noon, and I think it was just now finishing up. Uh, we do have another search set on the calendar for Saturday afternoon. I believe we're meeting at noon at Leonard and Federal. From what I have been told, Justice for Nevea has roughly 200 people, if not more, coming to help search. We are going to fan out. We're going to try to go to Oregon. Just anywhere we can think of searching, we're going to look. Uh, I, I appreciate the press. We want to keep the baby's name front page. We don't want her shuffled to the back. The press has been really lenient with us. They're pretty much expect us, respecting our wishes and not really pestering my son or myself. I am normally down at the command post pretty much all day. Uh, we've had multiple companies printing us flyers. We have flyers all over. I have heard that we have flyers down in Cincinnati for this. So they are getting out, people are looking, people are listening. And I would just love to thank them, and I hope we have a good outcome. And I think my son does want to talk to the press this one time. I'd just like to reiterate everything he said. I thank everybody that's been out helping search, donating, Everything they're doing, it's, it's helping, obviously. We're making progress. It's slow, but it's going. Um, I've been staying away from the press for the most part. As you can imagine, it's rough. But um, if anyone has any questions, I know you guys, have, a lot of you guys have been wanting to talk to me. I'll answer any, any questions you guys have. What do you have to say about your strange wife being charged today with the uh, child endangerment? I mean, I'm not going to bash anybody to point fingers at anybody, but <clears throat> I feel justice is being served. She, she made several mistakes. I'm not going to say she was directly responsible for anything, but my daughter was in her care at the time that this happened. And Police are handling it the way they feel they need to. Do you think further charges should be filed against her? At the current time, no. Um, I guess right now it's going to depend on the outcome, what further information comes, and then go from there. Were you aware of the injuries that the police charged her with? I was sort of aware. Uh, as you guys can imagine, Everybody's speculating, making their own opinions, pointing fingers, making threats. Rumors have flown. I've heard so many rumors. I'm almost tired of people pulling up some days, but you know, we got to follow everything through and make sure there isn't nothing to be found. I spoke with the people at the house just before coming over here. They told me some of the places they looked. Were they chosen for a specific reason? Uh, not really specific reasons. Um, a lot of the search teams, they, they've been asking me a lot. Yeah, I mean, I was born and raised on the east side here. We're just areas where people don't suspect. I mean, you know, everybody as a kid, we run through the woods and play on the railroad tracks when our parents are yelling at us. But, I mean, those are the places where people aren't present to witness if anything's happened, so we're running down all leads. Do you think Stephen King has anything to do with this? I'm not going to speculate on that at this time. Do we know where Stephen King is at? Uh, as far as I've been told, they're not 
it's all rumors. They, I, I personally don't know. Um, the FBI and the Toledo police have been doing a great deal of work. I'm sure they wouldn't let him out of high sight, but I, I can't say a for sure answer on that right now. Are you happy with the job they've been doing so far? For the most part, yes. Do you feel police have been uh, communicating with you as much as you would like, or would you like a little bit more uh, communication and information? I'd like more communication and information. I mean, I'd like to know every detail, but obviously if they're calling me every five minutes, they're not really doing their job. So as long as they're out there beating the street less like we are, they're doing their job. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you guys coming out tonight. I'll answer any one of y'all's questions after I get done saying what I want to say. That is my daughter that they arrested. She did a very bad thing by not doing what she should have done after Stephen hurt that baby by taking it to the hospital. There's nothing that can change that. Nothing, and I done told her that. She should have been truthful and done. She shouldn't even been in that house from the get-go. And it's a shame that our granddaughter is missing and TJ's daughter is missing. We need to bring that baby home. We need to work together. Not, not nitpick about this and nitpick about that. She's in there, she's gonna pay her price for what she did. And there's nothing that you or me can do about it. Not one thing. I've been cooperating with the police. I've been to the police station every day since this has happened. Every day. And they've been to my house. They've been to my friend's house. Several of my friend's house. We need to work together, unite together on this, and, and, and quit arguing and nitpicking and stuff, and making allegations and stuff. People on Facebook threatening me, threatening my daughters, everything. That's got to stop. You know, people will think it's funny. It's not funny. This ain't a game. And I'll tell you right now, and you won't have to ask me. Stephen did. Stephen and Mike took that baby. That's where they're at. That's who's got that baby. Who's Mike? He lives in that house. Is she a relative of Stevens? I don't know. You'd have to ask him. That's his mother's house, right? There. Pardon me? That's the mother's house that they're living in? Yes. Well, Stevens' mother and dad's house, yes. So you know who Mike is, huh? She lives there. All I know is my other daughter went over to TJ's house and talked to my other granddaughter, and she just kept saying, Mike won, Mike won. We found out that Mike lives in that house. And we found out that Mike won TJ and his dad pulled up. They went out the back door. <coughs> the baby's not there. So, I don't understand why. I mean, my daughter made a mistake. She's gonna pay her price. Let's put that aside. Where's Stephen's mom and dad? Where's Stephen and where's his Mike Warren? Why are they not in jail? Why have they not prosecuted? They know what happened. And I can tell you right now, Angela told me, last night from jail when she called me, that Stephen dropped, dropped Elena and said, I said, why didn't you tell her that? Tell the police that. He said, because I'm next if I do. And that's all I can tell you from now why she's in jail. Thank you. friends and stuff, you know, we've been hitting rivers, we've been all the way out in 
uh, uh, I can't remember the name of the township, way out round two, by, by the Davis Messi. You know, they were talking to psychics. Two psychics came up with the same thing. And the, the FBI and the police have already talked to these psychics. What the, what the outcome was, they won't tell me. And sir, what's your name and how do you spell your last name? My name is Richard. You say it's she we and it's spelled S C H I E W E. And that's all I have to say really. Thank you guys. I would just like once again to tell you guys thank you. Please keep her in your thoughts and your prayers, and hopefully we will find her soon. Uh, something has to break. Somebody knows something, and somebody has to talk, and that's all we're asking for. I did find out when I did the Nancy Grace show the other night, the Toledo Police and the FBI do have a $10,000 reward out. I did not know of it until I heard it on the show when I was recording the show. I do know they have got a lot of leads. They are following them, and I appreciate everything they're doing. And I do believe we will find this baby. Thank you for all for coming. Thank you. You want to say something? Uh, can I wait one second? My cousin Ginger would like to say something. She's been with me since the beginning of this. Hi, I'm a cousin of the Snipers. I'd just like to say, I'd like to thank all the volunteers that's come out and done everything that they've done, and, and we can't appreciate it anymore. And for everybody in the community, if they could just keep an eye out. Um, you know, we've been told that Elena has a black eye and Elena has some face injuries. Not many babies run around with black eyes, face injuries. Look in your backyards, look in the brushes. If you, if you just look around, you know, if you're just out and you, I mean, I find myself driving down the expressway and I'm just looking off to the side of the road or looking here or there. Everybody just keep their eyes out, you know. Um, that's all we're asking for is, is to everybody just, just really look, keep their eyes out. Lots of prayers, lots of prayers, you know. We don't want to speculate on anybody, anybody. We don't want to point fingers at anybody until you can't, you know. And, just like they said, let's, let's, let's unite. Let's, let's not bicker and fight and argue. We've got to pull together to, to bring this together. Um, my heart goes out to all of you guys. You know, my cousins, I've been with them through it all. We went to Dick's, we talked last night. We're, we're, let's pull it together. And, and for all of you guys, you know, each and every one of the press, thank you all. And thanks for being patient and understanding why TJ couldn't talk, or Terry couldn't talk at the moment. I just want to say thanks to all of you guys. And, and everybody keep praying, keep our prayers, and, and keep looking. And, but you're not, not many 18-month-old babies run around. Yesterday, get bumps and bruises and scrapes, but not usually black eyes and, and facial injuries and, and things like that. And if you just walk out in your backyard and you, know, and you just happen to look behind your trash can or look in the bushes or whatever, you know, if we all do that, maybe, maybe we'll find her a lot sooner. Thank you. Ginger, what's your last name? Smith. Smith. Okay.